y'all. It's Tennessee Nikki. How y'all doing out there today, y'all? Y'all, today we're gonna make a John Wayne casserole. Girl, yes, we're making a John Wayne casserole today. Okay, it's a couple of steps to this, but first, I'm gonna, you know, ground me some ground beef. We're gonna use taco season in our ground beef. I'm gonna throw a little garlic powder on it till it get almost done. Then I'm gonna put the seeds of uh, the taco season on it. Then we're gonna cut up some like a this is like a small half of a small onion, half of an onion. We're gonna saute that with some red. This is like one of uh, red pepper that I cut up. We're gonna saute that together. Yes, girl. We doing John Wayne today. Y'all watch cowboy movies. Huh? Do y'all watch cowboy movies out there? I do. Guess what? And I still watch Little House on the Prairie every day. <laughs> every day. Okay, so we're going to let this cook. And let that do what it do. But we're going to move over to the, the casserole. Get you a glass casserole. Get you a 16 ounce of biscuits. Crack that thing open. Start throwing them biscuits in there. Throw them biscuits in there. Okay. Throw them in there. And then you're going to just smash them down because you want them to come together. Smash them down. Kind of stretch it, smash it. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but hey, we got to do it. <laughs> smash it down. Get it to come together. Come together with me. Just act like it's Play Doh. Okay. And then you want to try to come up on the sides with it. Kind of try to stretch it without tearing it. Okay. Try to close all them little gaps. Okay, just smash it as the best you can, girl. You know, just smash it and try to pull it up as much as you can. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for about 15 minutes till it's like brown, light brown, not dark brown, girl. We ain't trying to get it cooked like Sunday breakfast biscuits. Just light brown, okay? And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do next, okay? 15 minutes, 350. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I think I failed to tell y'all this is two pounds of ground beef. <laughs> I will use two pounds of ground beef, and I also use uh two packs of taco season, okay? So that's two pounds of ground beef. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the mixture. You'll need a half a cup of sour cream. Scoop that in a bowl. Get all of it, girl. Okay? Then you'll need a half a cup of uh, mayo. This is Duke's mayo. Half a cup. Yeah, I'm scraping all of it, girl. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, then this is the other half of that onion I used to saute. This is just regular raw onion, okay? Half of that onion. Okay? Then we're going to put, this is half a cup of shredded cheese. Okay? And we're just going to mix that together. Mix it together. Mm 
Mm, 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 girl, this is gonna be good. This house smells good. Stir it good. Okay. Okay, that's ready. Okay. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead, this is the biscuits that, you know, we put on the little casserole dish. We're gonna put the meat on there. Mind you, this is two pounds. Make sure your oven is still on too, on 350. Okay. Spread that out. Okay, just continue to spread it out. Spread it out, y'all. Okay. Then the next thing we're gonna do, know it sound weird, you're gonna slice you up tomatoes. Slice you some tomatoes. Put that on them. Put you some tomatoes on there, girl. <laughs> Put Okay, that's enough. Okay, let me hold on. Let me y'all put a little pepper on them tomatoes. Put a little pepper. Pepper ain't never hurt nobody. Put a little pepper on them tomatoes. Okay. Then we're gonna put. Y'all remember, uh, I sauteed those, uh, onions and red peppers, and I also put a little, uh, Miss Dash on it. Just put a little Miss Dash. Oh, that's easy with my hand. My hands is clean. I'm up there trying to be cute with it. Now nah, we got to get off in now. We got to get off in there, girl. Ooh, this smell good. Y'all, ooh, I love sauteed tomatoes too big. Ooh, I love sauteed peppers and onions. Yes, low it. Okay. And then we're going to put some jalapenos on there. You can omit this, but look, this is John Wayne. This is John Wayne casserole. So, let's put that on now. Put a few. We ain't gonna put too many. Now. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that mixture on top. That mixture on top. Okay. And we're going to smooth her out a little bit. Try to smooth her out. Get in there, girl. Get in there. Let's see if we can scoop some of that. Get them corners. Get them corners. Ooh. 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 Look, y'all. Ooh. Let's grace some more of this dish. Ooh. 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 Yes. Make sure you put that oven on 350. We're going to put her in the oven for about uh, 30 to 40, about 30 minutes. 
30 minutes of doodle. Try to spread it out as much as I can. Okay. Then, you know we got a top of with some old cheese. You thought we was stew? No. Mm -mm. No, we ain't. We gotta get that cheese action in there. Yes. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna put her in the oven for 30 minutes to 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how she look. And, uh... I'm going to be back with y'all and I'm going to show y'all how she look plated. I'll be right back. Y'all see how she look? Look at her. Is she cute? Is she cute, y'all? Mm-hmm. She finna be. She finna be cute. Yes, Lord. I'm going to be right back, okay? Hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay, y'all. We finished with this John Wayne casserole. This is something a little different for y'all. You know, y'all say, you know, y'all tired of cooking the same stuff. This is a real fun and, you know, it ain't that quick, but it's real fun and different. You can cook on Sunday or Saturday or whatever day you got free. But here she go. Look at John Wayne. Look out. Look at her. She fine. And she cute. Look at her. She cute. <laughs> she is cute. But yeah, y'all, that's the John Wayne casserole. And y'all, I appreciate y'all staying tuned with me. Thank you for watching. And if y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. Also, like and comment. And also, hit that bell to be notified when your girl get back on camera, you know. But I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. And I'm going to see y'all again next time. Bye-bye.